Meanwhile, a local manufacturing company is expanding their production into a new building. News 19's Riley Kine shares what this means for our economy and the employment opportunities it creates. Inland Packaging has four manufacturing facilities, two of which are located in La Crosse but they are expanding. Although it's been a challenging year, um, we've been very fortunate to be a strong company and on top of just generally being um, busy this year, we've been able to keep everybody working. We have been able to grow as well on top of that. Director of Operations Amy Moshik says Inland is proud to be able to continue the growth of the industry. They are an essential business and retained all of their workforce through the pandemic. Manufacturing in the U.S. is still one of the highest areas but we want to continue that, knowing that we're very strong in that regard, being able to expand and continue that growth in manufacturing is very important to us. The expansion gives us room to continually grow with our customers. The new expansion site at Breezy Point Road will offer 35 new jobs in the first year, but they expect growth beyond that. It allows us to grow even further over the next three to five years to what would be roughly about 100 jobs for all of our sites. Economic Development Coordinator Sam Bachmeyer says the community is grateful to have inland packaging. The La Crosse economy has a long history of, of manufacturing companies being uh, one of the core industries here in La Crosse. They've supported hundreds of thousands of jobs throughout the years. You know, those jobs are, are not only paychecks to those people, but they're supporting those families and the lives of many natives here in La Crosse. For them, it goes further other than just business. Inland and the Glendenning family is very uh, much a proponent of helping out the community. We help in several ways, a charitable functions, and just again being able to provide jobs to the community. Reporting from La Crosse, Riley Kine, News 19. Now they have broken ground at the new build site and they do expect production to be up and running by early spring. If you'd like to search for job opportunities, you can find this story on our website, wxw.com, where you'll also find more information about the company.